Hi guys, NCWQ here. Today is 7-16-2023 and the time is 9.05 a.m. I have y'all looking at EMSC. And six hours and 16 minutes ago, a 7.4 earthquake at 10 kilometers deep struck the Alaska Peninsula. Now this is concurrent to the one that was 6.4 was struck down in Mexico a day ago. So we're going to go look at this earthquake on Google Earth. And we'll see where this earthquake is located. We can see that this is close to the subduction zone, and also close to King Cove, Unga, Palaf Harbor. So this is within these areas here. We're also going to go look at the news and see if this earthquake has made the news yet. Seven point two earthquake strikes near Alaska Peninsula and it prompted a brief tsunami warning. This was put out by ABC News. It says a powerful seven point two magnitude earthquake struck near Alaska Peninsula late Saturday. Preliminary data placed the quake about fifty five miles. Sorry, I had to check to make sure it was the right date. Fifty five miles southwest of Sandpoint, Alaska. The National Weather Service said it had initially been measured at a magnitude 7.4, the United States Geological Survey said on Twitter. It struck at about 10.48 p.m. local time in Kodiak, Alaska. Sirens sounded late at night, according to a video posted on social media. The quake prompted the National Weather Service at Anchorage to issue a brief tsunami warning saying there was a significant inundation an alert was downgraded to an advisory before being canceled altogether early Sunday. Okay, so that is yours, but it says a tsunami was generated by this event, but no longer poses a threat, the NWS National Tsunami Warning Center said. Some areas may continue to see small sea level changes. In a brief tsunami warning before the advisory, weather officials had listed time spanning about 90 minutes when tsunami waves were expected to hit shore from Chignik Bay to Unimac Pass. Significant inundation is possible or already occurring, the services anchorage office said on Twitter, and announcing the earlier warning, move inland to higher ground. There was no tsunami threat in Hawaii. The earthquake was along the Alaska Aleutian subduction zone where large tremors are common. So let's see what happened with the Mexico earthquake. So we can see <coughs> that earthquake was near the coast of Chiapas in Mexico. We'll look at Reuters for that one. Um, an earthquake magnitude 6.4 struck near the coast of Chiapas. Let's go look up Chiapas in Mexico. So y'all can see this one occurred here. So this was here. This one was down here, so the coast is here. Now when we're looking, we're going to see that that earthquake occurred up here. The other one occurred here. So you would look to the middle point and possibly put out a warning because you're going to be seeing more activity 
along the West Coast, possibly. So I would say to be prepared for up to a six. Okay. Um, that 6.4 struck the coast of Chiapas on, in Mexico on Friday, the German Research Center for Geoscientists said. The state civil protection confirmed that there was no immediate reports of material damage, injuries, or fatalities. The quake struck at a depth of 10 kilometers or 6.21 miles. Okay, so that's your information for this earthquake. This 7.4 earthquake was followed by another earthquake. Got to wait till this shows back up. It was followed by a 5.7, same location. And we'll look at that on Google Earth as well. That is an aftershock. And aftershocks are common when you have big earthquakes. Sorry, you guys, I was not on the last few days. I have not been feeling well. Okay, as you can see, this earthquake is in the same place. So the other one was more right here. So this one has just moved over a little bit. That is the aftershock. Let's see what else we have that might be interesting for today. And it takes forever with this new site to load and unload. So we'll go back here. We had a 4.7 in the Kuril Islands. A 4.6 Alaska, same area as the 5.7 and 7.4. A 4.4 off the coast of Chiapas, Mexico, that would be an aftershock. And we had a 4.0 Baja, California, Mexico. 4.7 Alaska, same area. 4.0 region, Metropolitana, Chile, a 4.8 Izu Islands, Japan region, 4.2 Bonin Islands, Japan region. So that is your update for today. Hope you all are doing well. Please be prepared. Don't be scared. Have a plan. Take good care of yourselves and each other. Much love. And remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. Um, again, the reason I wasn't on the last few days is I have not been feeling well, but I will be back to making videos. Much love.